Dear Lord God, I pray your hand will be upon this particular devotion, Lord, which is attesting to the power of your need of your word. Bless it and make it good to me and to each and every one that listens in. In Jesus' name, amen. Welcome, everyone. If you like this video, please like it and share it with somebody else. All of the videos are geared to help people or to get people to know Jesus Christ. Today, I'm going to read a verse to you. Every word of God is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. God's word and the importance of it. Here's the question I'm going to ask often. Do you believe him or not? Again, with this verse, every word of God is pure. It is clean. It is good for you. If it is good for you and somebody contradicts the word of God from outside, either science or something else so-called, the word of God is what must stand in your life. If not, you're never going to have the fullness of it. What does he say here? It is pure and it is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. Now, you know the amazing thing about this one? This, I believe, was written by a king, this proverb. And it's, again, it's Proverbs 30, verse 5. But in verse 1 and 2, watch what he says. Surely I am more brutish than any man and have not the understanding of a man. He's humbling himself, saying, I'm not that smart. I need to learn wisdom, nor have knowledge of the holy. I'm not that holy, and I don't have a lot of wisdom. And then in the next verse, he asks this question in a sense. Who has ascended into heaven and knows all of the things of God? There's only one who has done that, Jesus Christ, who created all of creation and has every answer for the man that God has made. Every answer that we need is in the word of God right here. It's all that you need. So believe him or not. Are you going to trust Jesus, trust God's word that's been around for thousands of years, not being changed? Now, some people will say, well, there's different versions of the Bible. Let's not change. That's people's opinion on perhaps the wording of a thing to make it easier in our language today. But God's word has not changed if they have not cut out anything out of God's word. It is the same uh, yesterday, today, and forever. And it's been like that for the last as far as we know, five to 10,000 years. God's word has always stood the test of time. You can trust it. So when somebody says to you, well, that the Bible says this, but the scientists say that, you need to agree with God's word. Oh, that's if you want the blessing that God has for you on your life. If you don't want the blessing, walk the two roads. Jesus said it was going to be tough, that we need to walk on the narrow road. You know, there's things that people are saying are right, that are wrong. You don't have to condemn those people. You love those people that say that. But you do not participate in their knowledge. Instead, you look at the word of God and say, what does God say about this? You know, you can find many things in a Bible that will explain to you exactly what you need to do. And if not, you pray about it. And you know what God do? He'll send somebody to you that will give you that answer if you wait for it. So I hope this is a blessing to you. Put God's word first in your heart. And then watch how he blesses you. So until next time, may Jesus increase as we decrease.